need a ride? I got a bike. You gonna be alright with the box? I got a basket. <laughs> 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 hey, this is Joe Wilson in director's commentary mode. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how the fight scene in the season two finale was made. We'll meet the folks who made it happen and break the scene down from the script to the final product. Uh, and of course, we'll have some behind the scenes stuff and bloopers. Um, and if you've ever wanted to shoot an action scene, I would highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do it again. Now, when I was writing the season two finale, I knew that John Colella and Ramey Hall had stage combat experience, and at one point were both certified with honors by the American Society of Fight Directors. But I wanted to be sure I didn't create a scene we couldn't pull off on a tiny budget. So I tried to write a very simple action sequence, putting more of the emphasis on the tension of a standoff. So we'll start with the standoff part and then uh, take a look at the script for the action and then dive into the action scene and then we'll break it down. This scene stars John Colella, Ramey Hall, Dan Olivo, and Joe Tab. Interior, Don's kitchen. Blood drips from Annie's right hand, which is above her head with her left. Behind Annie, a crossbow against her back. It's Jimmy's finger on the trigger. You really fucked up, Donnie G. For me to be standing here holding a crossbow with your vampire cunt of a wife at the end of it, you fucked up bad. We had to go out and buy these. There's no reason to involve her. It's my fuck up. I told Frank, fucking vampires. You can't trust them. They're like junkies. Loyalty for generations. That's what you get with Donnie G. That's what Frank said. Anybody else here, Jimmy? Don't know. It's just the two of us. Where's the mother-in-law? Fuck you. How's that Paul the butchers? He said Don's mom came in. Smells good in here. Carlina's cooking? Vampires don't eat food. Collateral damage. That's what you get when you kill someone like Frank. Maybe you should stop distracting Chi Chi with those shiny objects. Then what? Staking all of you. And then cutting you and your mom's heads off. I need a visual aid for the meeting. I'm the new Frank. I got Annie a present for her anniversary. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but she's gonna need her head for it. Happy anniversary. Thanks. Close the door, Cheech. I feel a decapitation coming on. And now the fun part. We'll take a look at the script and then at the finished scene. Don and Annie lock gazes. At first it looks like goodbye, then Don nods. She nods back. Chi-Chi moves a millimeter. Annie smashes the back of her head into Jimmy's face and rolls to her left, barely out of the way of the crossbow. Jimmy's arm still partially around her neck. Jimmy pulls the crossbow trigger. The tension sends an arrow past the edge of Annie's back. Don's left shoulder arches back as his arm rises, twisting away from the arrow and taking aim at Chi-Chi with the gun in his left hand. The arrow zips past Don and thuds into Chi-Chi's chest. Stunned, but still holding a loaded crossbow. Chi-Chi looks at the arrow jutting out of his rib cage. Don drops three rounds into Chi-Chi's breast pocket. He falls back to the floor, dead. Whipped to Jimmy, blinking, his face bleeding. He yanks Annie's throat with his left arm, pulling her back into a choke. Annie's right arm rises into a fist and swings down like a hammer. Jimmy's balls are the nail and thwack. Jimmy's breathing through his mouth. Call me a cunt. Annie spins away from Jimmy. Don's right hand squeezes some 45 millimeter punctuation into Jimmy's chest. He teeters and drops to the floor. Don, with both guns still pointed in opposite direction, surveys the situation. You okay? Call me a cunt! Melissa Street and Kathy Singh were the makeup artists on season two, and they are both a lot of fun to work with. Uh, Melissa and I went over the script and figured out the order to shoot the wounds, and she also ran a quick test for one of the effects. Test video for Vampire Mob season two. This is for crossbow arrow to the chest. While I was writing the script for season two, John Colella was on stage as Cyrano de Bergerac, a role that included this fight, which was choreographed by Dan Speaker and Jan Bryant, who have worked on some big-time movies. 
I met them at the Ruskin and asked if they would be up for helping us kill a couple of guys on Vampire Mob. You can check out how they make action happen on their series, Fight Class. Aside from a live-action film hook, Jan Bryant and Dan Speaker were movie swordmasters on the films Hidalgo, Army of Darkness, Hot Shots Part Du, and Master and Commander. <laughs> how about a timeout, matey? I sent the script to Jan and Dan, and they sent me to the hand prop room, which has a lot of guns. Really, a lot of guns. <laughs> a lot of guns. Also coffins and a moose head, if you need it. They recommended that we get two crossbows that were uh, pistol size and then a rifle size. And then once we were on set, they taught everybody how to uh, do all the <laughs> hitting and punching and falling and um, head butting. And they also brought in these cool pads and uh, shields uh, that people could wear under clothes. Uh, Dan showed Joe how to hit up against the wall and drop without hurting his knee. He ended up wearing a little thing uh, under his pants. And, uh, and that's John Colella removing a, a picture from the wall <laughs> that we probably would have <laughs> probably would have screwed up a little bit. Uh, so we rehearsed all of the action part of it and including this one cool little tip from Dan. <laughs> that was great. I know Jan and Dan are used to working on much more complicated stuff, but they made this little sequence just so much better, so much more realistic, and a lot safer. We made sure all our weapons were safe. The really cool lighting uh, in the scene you're watching here and in the fight scene was done by Zoe Van Brunt, our director of photography. The one day we had a director of photography. The other operators were uh, Sila Angvale and myself, and cast member Chad Wood helped us out as a boom operator. Uh, Melissa Street did the makeup on Ramey Hall because uh, Annie, her character, would be uh, shot from the beginning throughout. But everybody else had to be shot with and without makeup. So we shot Dan with a bloody nose, but not his gunshot yet. And then we shot him with his bloody nose and his gunshot wound, actually before he even gets shot. And then he gets shot. You are hearing someone say bang, bang. And Joe Tao, we had shot him without any makeup. And then he went in with uh, Melissa Street and Kathy Singh and got an arrow <laughs> attached to him and then came back to the set with just the arrow wound and then we shot that part and then he came back again with the gunshot wounds so we could shoot the whole thing and again you are hearing bam 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 in the background and here's why we didn't use blanks i knew keith vineyard from twitter we had never met but i saw his series end result and he had a lot of guns in it and i emailed him i'm like how do you do this and he's actually offered to help out so he did work on the show before we ever even met so this is it without the flash this is with Heath uh, putting in the gun flash and here's the whole thing and then if you put it all together this is what you get watch for all the really small tiny little shots that's what makes everything look a lot more realistic and expensive make a giant shot list if you're gonna shoot action this was so much fun to make and a lot of fun to cut too and now let's watch some bloopers shall we Sorry, guys. Cut. Close the door, Chi Chi. I feel a decapitation coming on. <laughs> 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 
So you're looking, and then you look, there's the arrow. Holy shit, there's somebody shooting fucking arrows. <laughs> I like that it's boom, 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 and insulate. Wow, I've completely gone up. Give me the line. No I have no idea. Cut. <laughs>